So as you know, we have officially launched our huge home and family DIY star contest. We're so excited to share this with you because one lucky winner is going to get a chance to join us here in our DIY department and have an opportunity to show off their skills, their creativity here yeah, on our show. That's the skills. That's yeah. right. Just imagine it could be you standing right here in our do-it room with everybody. And all you have to do is go to dreamjobbing.com forward slash home and family and upload a video showing you what you you love to do best. That's right. Be that perfect crafter like Ken Wingard, uh, who was here today, and Carlise is in on this, and we're going to get to this segment in just a second. But what is it? That, I mean, you must enjoy what you do, and this is your living. I'm embarrassed. Why? I mean, you said this before. I am embarrassed that I get paid to come and like build mouse house now nightlight stuff that I would be doing anyway. It's like I really never feel like and like being able to bring my daughter every now and right. then. It's a blessing. So. Would he just well, tell me he cut your segment today? No. So we're good. That's fine. As long as I can pay him good. Bye. <laughs> No, explain to us, slow, really, winning this contest, what it would mean to the person who... who well, I think not only would it just be fun and a great experience, but if you're a crafter and want to do it professionally, it's like, what an amazing opportunity to actually, you know, get on in front of millions of people and do the thing you love. Yeah. So I know, and like you said, you spent 30 years getting into the business, getting this opportunity. Imagine if you had that walk on and somebody gives you a chance to step I'd on a thrilled. national show, right? I'd be thrilled like I am now. I'm going to learn how to DIY. DIY. Yeah, that's right. yeah. 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 She's really good. Say She's it, really good. She's really good. And then I'm going to learn how to do it. Right. You put that, did you put the tape around the hula hoop yourself? That's a DIY, girl. You're on. You Mouse in the house. Mouse yeah. in the house. So the kids the kids can't sleep. They want their lights on. I wanted to get a nightlight. All the ones out there are just kind of rinky deep looking. So I came up with this idea as a great way to add a little bit of fantasy. Because with the kids, it's all about the right, fantasy. Right. Of course. And and to like start to abate their fears, um, and very very easy to do. Um, I you know bought this very inexpensive. I think it was like fifty bucks online, and I started um, earlier today. Let's take a look. Let's see what I did. Wow. So you started cabin. You just need an opening. That opening above, below, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but go ahead once you've got it. Measure what that opening is. You can even do this on a bookshelf, and just get a piece of plywood. I use relatively thick plywood, three quarters of an inch, and that will come into play later. Uh, measure to cut that so it's exactly the size. Order a dollhouse window online. Get all that marked out. Center the window, and then just cut cut it out. You know, drill a hole for your jigsaw, and then just jigsaw away. You don't have to do it in fast motion like I was here. <laughs> a lot of coffee. Um, once you've got that, then go ahead and cut the outer shape to that pre-measured dimension so it fits nice and snug um, in your space. That's on our nice new saws. I was going to say. Very exciting to cut on that. Was it nice? It's like hot knife right butter. You'll get to do it soon, A little oh, wood no. glue and just attach your window right in, in place. Um, so now I'm dealing with the actual cabinet itself. Just drill a hole in the, in the side. That's going to be big enough to put in one of the single bulb light sockets. And then go ahead and decorate. I decided to go with a uh, floral pattern on the back and a dot for an accent wall. A little spray glue, and this is just scrapbooking paper. You could use gift wrap, whatever you have. And just put that in the back and all the sides. Super easy. Now you've covered up that hole, so you just want to go back through with a little uh, straight edge. Cut that out and then pop in your little craft store this light bulb. Brilliant. And voila, wow. it is ready for so the mouse to move in. Oh. So we're so, going to customize so this now, huh? So now, yeah, so all you do is then just, you know, Christina, you're good at, you know. I'd like to make decorating. Exactly, decorating. Mm -hmm. um, and you could really, like, if you, I um, can't see what I'm doing here, but if you, um, thank you. At least you should put the mouse in I as our guest today. As your, 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 one of your first DIYs, wow. right? Please. This Hang on, the mouse has to go me, last. But here, my dad Christina, I'll give you stuff like this. There you stuff go. There. Do I put the mouse anywhere? Anywhere. Oh, I should do it now. Yeah, you can is put it in. Don't put it in the wrong spot, though. Oh, no. Don't. Don't, I don't ruin this. I worked yeah. really hard well, on it. I don't it. know where the right spot is on a chair. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, really? Okay. Really? Oh. Come to this? Yeah, help, me. Ears. help me. Help <laughs> me. Come to this. I'm going to stand there. there. Perfect. Perfect. And now the secret with the uh, using the thicker um, plywood is that it's just going to um, fit right in there. If you can help me. I can't there see that. Go. There you go. There you oh, go. Easy as so that. Great. And then all we have to do, oh. plug it in. Anybody this, home? Let's see. The kids cannot wait now for the lights to go out. And oh, oh and you know what? Their imagination could just take them away exactly. with stories. I love the lighting in there because it looks like it. it's a lamp or something. It's a mouse lamp, mouse floor lamp.